What's going on Prio Pack? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to set up 360 movement for your Azeron keypad. Alright, so today I woke up to a really sick message from my boy Cardiac. New firmware and software out that does not need emulators to have 360 movement. I was really happy when I saw this message. This means that I no longer, I already deleted it, but I no longer need X360 CE to emulate the movement of my joystick. One more thing, if it resets your profiles, like it did for me, you're just gonna wanna make sure before you do your firmware update, you're gonna wanna save your profiles or save your onboard memory to your profiles. And it's like, it just saves it. <laughs> it saves it on the keypad itself, or it saves it in the software itself. And then you can just move to onboard memory and move to onboard memory. Fortnite is the game I play the most, so that's what I have it. That's what I have it as by default. The way it used to work in the Azeron software. <coughs> was that on your first onboard memory profile or whichever you have set? This analog stick was mapped to analog joystick. And what this does in Windows is it's recognizable in Windows as a joystick, but it's not mapped to anything. So when you go to play a game, you, you're you not gonna move, you're not gonna be doing anything. With the new update, however, they made it so that Windows recognizes your analog stick as a controller analog stick. So when you're playing games like Fortnite, Left 4 Dead, Black Desert Online, you're gonna be able to get that controller movement without having to use a external software, which is just awesome unless Let's work for us. And as you can see, this is still in pre -al early pre-alpha, so there's still a lot of stuff they're working on to add to the software, and it's only getting better and better. First thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the link in the description that I'll have for you. You'll start to download this uh, file right here. First off, you're gonna wanna extract the files. And once they're open, you wanna, you're gonna wanna hit set up. All right, now that it is set up, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, if it doesn't prompt you to already, is update. This, uh, the software already knows where the update is, the firmware update, so you're just gonna follow through, read everything, hit update. I've already done this, but doesn't matter. Just flashes the, the update real quick. There's a reset button on the bottom of your Azeron. You're gonna press it. All right. Now we should be done. And you're also going to want to make sure that, yep, this is set to Xbox 360 analog stick, not analog joystick, not keyboard, Xbox 360 analog stick. I prefer the dead zones and sensitivity how they are, but you're free to change them up. If you pick keyboard, it's going to, you're going to get eight way movement. So you're going to be able to move up, down, left, right, and then in between those you're not going to get full 360 degrees that you get with the um the xbox 360 analog option all right we're free to close out of this yeah so everything seems to be set up perfectly now i'm going to launch fortnite and just see how it works ah oh, see you guys when the game starts all right as you can see i am in the game First test is just moving my analog stick. And yep, it's working. Seems to be working. Let's just hop in creative real quick. Make sure I have that full 360 degree movement.
seems to be fine. Yep, so the movement seems to be working great. I'm able to build and edit just fine. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.